Second place, how does that compare to what you wanted to accomplish here today? Um, with today, I just wanted to like go, I, I went into the race knowing anything could happen. So I went out with the leader, Parker Mon, and I just held on as long as I could. And I, I just happened to get second. Like I wasn't really expecting this today, but I'm very happy with the results. So. You, you know, that was, uh, you, you and Parker and another kid, you kind of separated yourself about the two mile mark. Were you surprised at all to find yourself there or how did you feel at that point? Um, I knew that I knew that was a possibility but I also knew that like we had like 10 guys going in that were all like within 10 seconds so I was expecting a bigger pack but I think the rain and the hills got to a lot of people so seeing three people was definitely a little surprising but I was also expecting Parker to be further ahead so yeah. seeing him next to me was also a little surprising. Take me through the final mile how did you feel what was that like? I normally I drive heat at the end of my races but today I, I actually didn't so I, like I feel like maybe I could have pushed harder, but I know I was pushing as hard as I could. And I just feel like that after, because like you feel like that after every race. But um, the final mile, I was just thinking, wow, like this. Is, I was just it was kind of surreal. I just can't believe I was actually like up there with the big guys. So. And then when you you crossed the line, you had that little lean. You know, you looked really excited to be second. What what was the feeling like right after finishing? There? Well, I knew I PR'd, and this is not a PR course at all. I PR'd by three seconds, and like this course, you only run like 15 seconds slower than your PR. So I was super surprised by that. So that kind of shows that like in the right circumstance, I probably could run like a few a few seconds faster than what I have been running this season. You know, it, it's unofficial, but if the results hold, it looks like uh, the, the River Boys team placed fourth. You're on the podium. What does that mean to be on the podium for this team? Well, I mean, I couldn't do any of this without, without my team, without my boys. So it's just, it's the most amazing thing to place as a team. It's higher than any individual accolade I could have. Yes, sir. So first of all, I've heard a lot of people talk about how tough the course and the conditions are with how slick it is. How was it for you out there? It was, it was really, really tough. The, after that first, like, out past the first uphill, and once you're in the loops, it's, it's so slick down the hills, you're like, trying to plant your foot correctly, and there's cones where it's super slick, and the cones are usually where you want to go. So it was really hard to get your grip and get your funding in the corners, but I mean, it's a challenging course for everyone, <laughs> so like we're all in the same boat, everybody's giving the same effort and you just gotta try and stay composed and focus on foot strike and everything. So. Yeah, like I said, top 10, how does that compare to what goals you wanted to accomplish oh, coming out? I'm so happy, I didn't even know I got top 10 until you told me, yeah. so I'm, I'm really glad. I. I gave it all I had. I definitely left everything out there, and for my senior race, I couldn't ask for anything more. Um, I the past two years at state haven't been my most amazing performances. So, like I said prior, my goal is just competing well and feeling good at state, and I'm I'm really happy I got top ten. What What do you think you did differently compared to previous years that allowed you to finally, you know, ace this course? I think it helps that it's my senior year, and that you know I have. This is just the last final push, and I'm just my mindset's different. I think I'm more mature and composed in my races as well, which helps. And uh, I had an amazing team with me, <laughs> so yeah, that definitely helped me in my race today. So you've had such a successful four years uh, running for Washougal. Uh, tell me, what does the state meet mean to you in running here? Oh, well, it's an honor being getting the chance to be healthy enough to come come out here and run and compete against a great field of girls. Um, I really enjoy going to state. It's a great experience, um, but I think that training up to it 
really just creates such an awesome point to be at and I'm just grateful that I had the opportunity to get to that. I was able to be healthy, train hard, um, and to get to this point, I'm really honored. Too. What, what types of things stand out over your four years of running for Washougal and being yeah. so successful? Oh, well, thank you. Um, yeah. I would have to say, just under great coaching and a great group of girls, I've been able to grow closer to them, and I got to run with my sister this year, which was great. I was really excited about that, and bringing her to the team and watching her progress as a freshman um, is, has been great, and it's been great to become training partners with a few of the girls on the team and just get the opportunity to create those bonds and really unify each other, build each other up, um, so it's been great to get awesome. to 